Lead story, a culture war and how it will affect the upcoming vote in 2020 for president. So I put together in my mind um, six culture war items that I feel are going to be in big play between Donald Trump and whoever he runs against. Okay? First one is no due process. That these movements, Me Too, um, believe the victims, believe the survivors, all of this, and their far left acolytes have basically said to the nation, accusations now are convictions. And we don't want to hear anything else about it. So Judge Kavanaugh was guilty, should not be serving on the Supreme Court, and that's it. Okay, once you get due process eliminated from our society, the notion and concept of justice flies right out the window with it. Because people will lie for a number of reasons, primarily money, and they will lie a lot. Ideology is number two. So that's number one. PC culture. We saw it yesterday with Beto O'Rourke telling a very gentle joke about his wife doing most of the heavy lifting, raising the kids, and immediately had to apologize because some nut objected to him saying that. There was nothing wrong with what he said. It was actually a human jest. I actually liked O'Rourke for saying it. And then all of a sudden he's apologizing. You know, I'm sitting there, like, is this the guy we want to negotiate with the Chinese? This guy? O'Rourke, who, who can tell a joke that's absolutely cute and funny and affectionate, and he's got to apologize for it? And then he goes, well, I'll, I'll never do that again. I'll be much more sensitive. Hey, you know, if I wanted Alan Alda as president, I would have gone out to eastern Long Island where he lives and urged him to run. I don't. All right, the third one is stacking the Supreme Court. And the far left doesn't like it because they don't have a majority on the nine in the Supreme Court. Now they want to put 20 or 30. That could happen. What a disaster that would be. Because the Supreme Court is the body, all right, that makes sure there isn't an abuse of power here on the part of the politicians. So that's going to be big. Eliminating the Electoral College. Far left wants to do that. So California, New York, Illinois, and a handful of other states can dominate the entire presidency because they have so many people. We become then an urban nation. But you guys in Oklahoma and Idaho and uh, New Mexico, you don't matter. Mississippi, Kentucky, you don't matter. West Virginia, nope. The big urban centers matter. That's it. Dangerous. Ultra dangerous. Unfettered abortion, aborting a fetus at any time, for any reason, even after it is birthed. That's Nazi stuff. And finally, the legalization of marijuana. We will get to that later on in this program, which I tell you, kids using marijuana, children, is tremendously harmful to them. So we as a society are basically saying, we're going to legalize another substance in addition to alcohol that's going to hurt every child who uses it. Does that make sense to you?